This is a quick demo to show some of the functionality that you can get once you install the Web Center extension to JDeveloper. So we're actually going to start by creating a new application. And one of the things that you get when you install the Web Center application is a couple of new Web Center types of application. And we're going to create a Web Center portal application. Okay? And um, application 130, and we'll just click it, finish here and we'll show you what you actually get. So here's our application and what we actually get here, we'll actually try and set it to the right size, uh, we get two projects, one of them is called Portal Web Assets, right now it's empty. The other one which is the interesting one is the Portal um, one and over here you can see there's actually a lot of things that have been created. So we'll try and slowly cover what is being provided for you all out of the box here with this little project template. Okay? Um, however, for me to make things more useful, I'm going to add another project here and it's just going to be an ADF model project, a normal ADF BC project, uh, just like you would do every time. And very quickly, I'm just going to connect to a database and we're going to create a um, couple of components to work with department and employees okay, like that okay so now what you need to understand is that the portal project is basically your view controller project in an ADF application with additional functionality already built in uh, the functionality is mostly under the Oracle folder here. If you actually expand it, there's a Web Center portal app, and you can see various things that have been defined for you, including skins and page templates. So if you go and you create a new page, it can be based on those templates. Now, one thing you want to do is the pages that you create in a Web Center portal should be created under the pages area over here. So again, under the Oracle Web Center, you can go and you can say, I need a new, and let's create a JSF page. Okay, and from the templates you can choose um, one of the templates that Web Center provides, like the globe page template. Okay, and we'll call this page, let's call this one the depth page. And you can see the page showing up here based on the template and you can start dragging and dropping things into th this page. Um, I actually don't like this template because it uses a flow layout and I rather work with stretch layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the page template itself okay, and in the source tab I'm going to replace the template that was provided for me with one that actually uses um, stretch layout. The rest of the stuff is basically going to stay pretty much the same. Okay, but now I have this content area where I can drop things into. Okay, so if we go back to this page and refresh it, you can now see the area where I can design my page. So again, very quickly, we'll just do um, a very quick page. Take from our application module, let's say department, drag and drop it over here to create um, read-only form, for example. So in terms of development, it's basically it's the same type of ADF development, but you're working inside the template that Web Center gives you, and when we actually run the page, you'll see the difference that it provides. Okay. Right, so here's our little page. Okay, so now let's actually go and see some of the functionality that a Web Center portal application has built in. Okay. One of the things that is built in is called the um, page hierarchy. Okay? If you go into pages over here, you'll see that there's a, basically a menu type of layout that you can create and enhance. So for example, I can add at the same level as the home uh, page, which is provided by default, I can now add the page that I just created, the depth page. Okay, so it can be in the same level over here. So the page hierarchy actually creates a menu for you to use. And um, one thing to note is that you can also assign security aspects to 
the pages in here. So for each page, you can either inherit one or create specific security. And that's the other thing that uh, Web Center gives you. It's, it comes in uh, built in with a security layer um, configured for your application. So you can use that one. Okay. To run it, you simply right click on portal and you choose run. Now, that's the other thing that the Web Center guys arranged for you. They have a default run target for this project, which always would take you to the home page. So when the application comes up, you can see our menu up here. Okay. And this is the home page, which is empty. And if you click the depth page, you'll get your page showing up. And again, this is a normal ADF page, so all the regular functionality works here. The other thing that you can notice up here is that there's a login mechanism which allows you to actually uh, provide a login and logout mechanism to your application. So let's try and login. And the username is WebLogic, and WebLogic1 is the password. And once you're logged in, you can actually go into administration mode. You can also log out. Okay. So first thing to understand is that you have the whole security aspect in here. Now let me show you some other things that you can do right now with your application. You can, for example, take the department and put it to be under the home. Okay. So this is kind of a sub-menu. And you can save everything and compile. Now we can rerun this. <laughs> now when we run rerun it, we can log in again. And you can see the sub menu under home with department. So when you click on this, you go to the page and you still have the option to go back to the home page. Okay. So this whole menuing, um, layered menuing, is something that is provided for you with um, the Web Center uh, template, as well as the login and logout security aspect and the template that comes built in there. And one other nice thing that the Web Center guys actually implemented, and remember this is 11.116, uh, the version that you're seeing, is that you can actually go into the page that you created, okay? And you can add, for example, a list of employees over here. And save and compile, and then just go back to your browser, okay, and reload the page. Okay, and you can actually see that the functionality is working. So this is actually hot deployment, which is a feature that made it into the next version of JDeveloper, the 11.1.1.2 uh, trunk. But you can also enjoy it if you have Web Center configured, um, working in 11.1.1.6. Okay, so that's the ability to change things, save, recompile, and reload without the need to rerun the whole application again.